everyone, this is Awesome Sauce. Welcome back to Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Hyperstone Heist. Um, <laughs> I hate this level so much. Uh, I've been trying to record this one for a while and I finally got it done. And there was an error and I lost the entire recording. So, I'm a little irritated right now. Um, hopefully I'll be able to make it through though. Okay, this level's basically just a rehash of all the old bosses, and for strategy, I would say in this first part, um, try not to get hit by any of the aliens. Uh, in fact, your best strategy is probably to avoid all the ones that you possibly can, so stay in this bottom one, and when you can, attack them, and when you can't, do not, because you will get hit, and you will lose half your health before you even make it to the first boss. It's just not worth it. So hopefully, if I stay calm, I'm. Uh, I was so angry. I'm, I'm calming down right now, and I love this game, so it it, it helps that I love the game. But uh, this level makes me so angry. Bull crap! Oh, so I hit him and killed him and lost almost half my health in the process. <laughs> See, that kind of crap makes me so angry. This level is cheap. I mean, it's just cheap. Compared to the rest of the game, the level of difficulty increases tenfold, and the bosses are slightly different, so your old strategies aren't going to work. Um, I'm not sure if this is true, but it seems like the alligator charges a little faster, and I know that he charges faster than, um, than Rocksteady does. Rocksteady gives you some sort of warning um, that he's going to charge. He'll stand there for a little bit longer than um, Mr. Alligator does. Not to mention, there's this... There's this really cheap thing about the game in general that if you get knocked down by an enemy and they're standing right next to you, they will wait for you to get up and then rape your face. And what the heck? See? Shit like that. Ugh. Makes me so angry. I mean, how did I get hit there? I, I guess I wasn't keeping my distance, but it felt like I was. And you have to really keep your distance with this one because he'll just do crap like that. Hit you while you're just standing right there, doing friggin' nothing. You press the... Ugh. See, I'm just letting myself get hit now. I'm getting so angry with the freaking game. I'm sorry, guys. This is supposed to be fun. I'm just freaking angry with this level. You know those moments when you just get so angry with the game? And that's the good thing about Let's Play, is they force you to, to finish things, which... I'm enjoying. Uh, Brockstead is a lot easier than the alligator if you know how to do it. So just, what you do is you just stay in this one place, jump over him, and then get him before he can do anything else. Usually it works. Sometimes he'll start charging before you can get your four hits done, so be wary of that. Um, because he will, he starts early, see? But he gives you enough time to know that he's charging, you see? But as usual, keep your distance, and you should be fine. Um, using, see, look at that. You don't even get a chance to hit him sometimes before he does crap like that. Now, again, keep your distance using a character like Leo or Donatello, and you should be all right. Because you have that, you have that distance factor with your weapons. So, okay, the hardest part of this level uh, comes in the form of Tatsu. Um, he's just a general. See what the crap? I was doing a kick right there. I should have blocked his friggin' knife hit. Anyway, um, general thing about this boss, it's always a good idea to take out about two of, one or two of his henchmen before you go over to hit him, and then when you do go over to hit him, um, because, you know, when you do go over to hit him and you finally get, you know, uh, you finally get your four hits in, um, those henchmen are gonna be sitting there, you know, ready and willing to rape you. Um, it's literally, see, look at that. And then you'll get up and they'll punch you again before you can do anything. And a lot of times they'll knock you down. Bef literally, before you can do a single thing to stop them. It's so friggin' irritating. So I suggest kill, at least try to kill two of them every time you try to get Tatsu. Um, it's just good policy. And of course, I lose my life before I hit Baxter Stockman, the last boss of this level. Ugh, so angry! And if you kill all of them, he will summon new ones, so just kill two. That's the thing to do. If you kill all of them, he will immediately summon new ones, so it's just... It's not worth it to try and kill all of them. And when you go for him, make sure to uh, jump in a place that he isn't 
already. Um, they like jump up here up high, so when he's um, trying to throw knives at you, uh, you can avoid those. Um, these bosses aren't super, super hard if you know what to do, but the henchman part is really what makes this hard. But again, he's different from the other bosses in that um, you need to get right up in his face um, in order to avoid his uh, knife throwing attack. Uh, you can, you know, you can avoid it pretty much altogether if you're, you know, if you're smart about it. Alright, and we killed our one, and go go from the corner, and of course I lose lots of health, being a doofus. No, bullcrap, I refuse. No, see, look at that. They cr do crap like that, and basically get you in a corner, and bullcrap! There, finally killed him. Oh my gosh, I'm so angry with this level. Okay guys, let's pause for a minute here. And save state button. Okay, now let's get started again. I, I do not want to do this last boss over again, so I will save and load states as much as I have to. I, I don't want to do everything over again. I'm, I'm not going to do it again. I refuse. I, I unabashedly use save states here because this is a ridiculously uh, difficult level compared to compared to the rest of the game. It's just difficult, and if you've lost a, you know, at least a decent amount of lives in the process, you know, you you may not make it through. And Baxter Stockman is a hard boss because the mousers are sneaky little bastards. Um, and it's hard to hit him sometimes. It's hard to tell where he is in the sky. Um, but, you know, you can just get, you know, see, like that. You kill the mouser, but they still hit you somehow? Yeah, right. Sneaky little bastards, like I said. But if you let too many of them, and he'll just keep spawning them too, so be aware of that. If you let them uh, pile up, they will kill you. And they'll do, you know, just like one little point of damage and eventually just, you know, basically kill the crap out of you just from these little, you know, whittle away at your, uh, your life points. It's irritating as crap, I swear to Buddha. This entire level is just wearing on me. I'm but I refuse. I will not do this again. And there's no health. There's not a single bit of health in this level. How ridiculous. I mean, every level has at least two, um, two pizza times. And this one has no pizza time. No love. No soup for you. No soup for me, actually. Unless you're playing this game with me, because it is called Let's Play, after all. So I got really lucky with that. I got uh, a lot of hits. Uh, and basically, jump kicks are the way to go to defeat Baxter. Um, they will many times give you... Now see, that's bullcrap. I did not just get hit. No. <laughs> no. <sighs> Alright. Reload state. And we're back. I'm so angry. Look at that. That's such freaking bullcrap. They hit you when you're jumping and kicking at them. I mean, yeah, right. I refuse to believe that that is true. I mean, see, look at that. You, you're, you're doing a jump kick. Oh, and then the mouser somehow just, you know, basically rapes your face. Bullcrap. I'm so glad when this friggin' level's done. I mean, I'm not even that mad with the game. And see, if, like I said, they pile up on you. You gotta be careful. Bullcrap! I'm in the air, kicking and punching. And somehow you're still attacking me and hitting me. Ugh, bull friggin' crap! I guess that one jump kick doesn't really do it. And you have, like that one, right? You have to be kicking apparently something in the air. And your foot doesn't hit it, so therefore it doesn't work. See, look at that. That jump kick doesn't work. Gosh, damn it! Try number 17. I'm going to rage quit. I've said that about a million times now, but I keep going because I love you guys. And why do you keep doing that kick? That's the shittiest kick in the friggin' game. I hate that kick. No, stop doing that. 
I want to do the quick kick, but he keeps on doing the slow kick, which makes it a lot harder for me to do anything. Uh, playing angry. Bad idea, guys. Just, just so you know, playing angry is the worst idea that you could possibly have. Hopefully I can keep him from spawning mousers at all. Oh, uh, that was quickly shot to pieces. Bullshit. I love how they can hit you while you're in kick mode, you know? You're supposed to be attacking them, but somehow their attack um, completely uh, trumps your kick. Which is bullcrap. It's complete bullcrap. And now I'm letting them spawn, which makes bad juju for me. Oh, guys. Guys, I'm almost there. Yeah, that's what I say every time I get to this point. But... I always... Oh, did I do it? I did it! Yes! Yes! Holy crap! Yes! Screw you, Baxter Stockman. Oh! And epic cutscene. Dead end. But the detector indicates that he is close by. Oh my gosh, guys, you don't even know how happy I am to be done with this level. 17 tries. I swear to God, 17 tries. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Screw you, Shredder. I hate you, and I hate your guts. Oh, the difficulty of that level was so hard. Oh. And then they all fly into the Technodrome somehow. Scene 5, the final Shell Shock. Which we'll be playing next time. Okay, I'm... <sighs> Lord, that took so long. <laughs> Tears of joy it's streaming from my eyes. Not really. Um, God, I do this for you guys. You know that, right? Uh, thank you for watching uh, episode something or other of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Hypersone Heist. Um, I love you guys for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for more Secret of Evermore vids, uh, more arcade Let's Plays, and um, keep an eye out for more Lagoon videos because I'm doing those too, and that's actually a lot more fun to play for me now. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's done. It's done. Breathe a sigh of relief. We're good. See you guys later.